On this podcast, you'll find interviews with high-performing, successful individuals in life sciences. On a weekly basis, we cover their proven methods, principles, strategies, and mindsets to implement new technologies that scale to meet the needs of people in our world. Welcome to Life Science Success Podcast. My name is Don, and I'm a consultant in life sciences. I help companies manage complexity and increase performance. Today on the podcast, I get to welcome back Trivia Frazier. Trivia is the CEO of Obatala Sciences, and um, we talked long, long ago. Yes, we did. So, yeah, it was very early in the my early podcast day. You <laughs> said yes, you would. You would come on as a guest. So yeah. Thank you for coming back and talking to me again. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. It's awesome. So can you just remind everybody what is Obatala? Yes, absolutely. Obatala is a biotechnology toolkit firm. We're advancing research in the areas of obesity, diabetes, and related metabolic disorders. And the way that we're doing that is we're using stem cells to rebuild tissue. And that tissue is a reflection of patients of varying demographics. So essentially, I can, if I'm, if I'm somebody who's researching, let's say, diabetes, and I need a model, for diabetes, your company helps to provide that in, in the form of tissue on the chip, correct? Right? Yes, yes. That's ex- essentially what we provide. Um, our core technology, ironically, is called fat on a chip. Okay. Uh, so we mimic the fat or the adipose tissue, but it plugs into many different, as I mentioned, metabolic diseases. So obesity, diabetes, different forms of cancers, um, any situation within a disease state by which adipose may be a role player in that particular disease. Very good. Yeah, and and, um, just in terms of, you know, your location, I mean, we're here at Bio in the Bayou. We're broadcasting, you know, more or less live from here. So, um, yeah, I mean, let's talk a little bit about your company. I mean, in the time since the last time that I talked to you, you know, what's happened since then? We have had a lot of activity since the last time we spoke. Um, Since that podcast, we've had not only a seed round that we've closed, a $1.2 million seed round, but we've also just recently announced a $3 million Series A round that we closed. We've expanded our team. We've um, partnered with the university to identify funds to triple our size. So we will be working wow. with the University of New Orleans um, and relocating to what is now called the beach, a sandbox of innovation, <laughs> which is on the university campus, but it will be 8,500 square feet of operating space exclusively dedicated to our laboratory, our manufacturing. So there's been a lot of activity, a lot of growth, and we're really excited about that. Wow, that's phenomenal. How much has a team grown? I mean, where, where, whenever we talked initially, how big was your team then? Yeah, when we first talked, I believe the team was a size of uh, nine. Okay. Um, now we're at 15. Um, and we just closed this funding. And so we're expanding our sales and commercialization team. Um, we're adding, you know, executive staff. And so we are essentially going to be at around 20 people very soon um, and doubling that in the next 18 months. So we're we're going to have some robust growth there on the team side very soon. Wow, that's amazing. I mean, it's always amazing to watch what happens. I mean, it's, it's almost like a what I call like a logarithmic, logarithmic effect, right? So you just start to double and then double again and double again. <laughs> it's just amazing how quickly this can expand. So yeah. congratulations. That's a, it's a lot of great growth for your team. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. And uh, I mean, in terms of the the overall, you know, thought process, so you're going to go to an 8,500 square foot uh, facility. Will that be it? Or do you envision that the, the organization could grow much, much larger in the future. It will. We will grow much larger in the future. And the way we envision our growth is expanding here, but also building sites outside of Louisiana, um, having sites that are manufacturing sites dedicated to stem cell manufacturing, uh, building those tissue chip products that can ship 
to facilities around the world. Um, and, and partnering with medical facilities, hospitals, and researchers within those different states to get access to tissue and, and other supply. Amazing. And I mean, uh, the one key question that I ask everybody as well is, uh, what do you expect to get from the conference? Yes, this, is, this conference is exciting because we get to see of. Uh, get some insight into not only the academic researchers that are doing some phenomenal work, um, which is, you know, where Obatala started in terms of our origin research at the bench, but also looking at where there are opportunities to partner, mm -hmm. um, you know, leveraging not only the technology transfer offices that are there and the people that are working there, um, but here locally and out of state. Um, and then those technologies that have already been commercialized that we can potentially partner with. So it's really good. It's really exciting to see, you know, the work that's growing here within biotechnology um, and what that means for us meeting, moving forward. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing with uh, just watching what's going on here on the ground, uh, you know, in the Bio Innovation Center, as well as, you know, Tulane. Uh, as well. I mean, it's just amazing to see, you know, all the things. And I continually tell people, you know, that I'm amazed that uh, I got to meet you early on and, and got to interview you early on. So uh, <laughs> it's good to see what's what's happening with Obatala as well. Thank you, Don. And it's been amazing to see how many people you've interviewed and all <laughs> the activity that you're doing. So it's really great. Yeah, I actually, I, I haven't said this to anybody yet, but I actually think if you took all of these individual interviews that I'm doing here, I think this will help me cross the 100 episode mark. I think, wow. I, I think I will, now will be over 100 episodes. So yes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of interviews and a lot of talking about uh, about things in life sciences. And I, I, I'm just amazed that there are so many great people that are following the podcast and that continue to engage with it. I, I feel really blessed. Well, it speaks to your value. <laughs> well, the value of the guest. All I do is ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> I ask the question and ask you to please step up to the microphone and tell me more. <laughs> well, Trivia Frazier, thank you so much for being on Life Science Success again. And thank you for uh, all the work that you're doing in life sciences. Thank you, Don. It's been a pleasure as always. Thank you for listening to Life Science Success. For complete details about this podcast, including show notes, how to get in touch with guests, and more episodes, please visit www.lifesciencesuccess.com. If there's someone you'd like for us to invite to the show as a guest, please let me know by sending me a message at the podcast website. Please click subscribe on your favorite podcast app, share the podcast, or tell a friend about it. And last but not least, rate the podcast. Thank you again. Thank you.